Welcome back to the channel. I'd like to thank everybody for all the likes and subscriptions so far. And if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button down there for me and hit that like button as well. Help to support the channel. In this video, we're gonna cover how to add TP-Link Casa smart switches to Home Assistant. First thing we need to do is get signed into Home Assistant. And next we're gonna go down to configuration and we're gonna click Devices and services where integrations are, we're gonna click add integration and then start typing TP and then go ahead and click TP link Casa Smart. To add the switches to Home Assistant, we're gonna need the IP address of the switch. If you don't know the IP address of your switch, you can look it up in your DHCP table in your router or your switch or whatever your DHCP server is on your network. If you're unsure how to find it, you can use the MAC address of the switch, and we'll take a look here at how to find that MAC address. So open your Kaza app and tap on the switch. In this case, we're gonna use this half bath fan. So we'll tap on that. Then the next screen that opens, we're gonna to wanna to tap on that little gear up in the corner, then tap device info. And once that opens up, the MAC address will be listed on the bottom of all that info. You can take that MAC address and then look up the IP address in your DHCP table. Once you have the IP address, enter that into the Home Assistant interface here, then go ahead and click Submit, then click Finish, and we're gonna wanna rename that. So click the three dots, click Rename, and I'm gonna leave mine half bath fan, but I'm gonna take off the model number Hit OK, then I'm gonna add the half bath light as well. And we'll go ahead and rename that half bath light. So you click that, then click the three dots on that. Once you have more than one device, it shows you that list initially. So we'll hit OK again. And there we go. Now we've got both the light and the fan added. So we can go to the overview tab and you'll see that those are added and you can control them from here just by flipping those switches back and forth. By default, you'll have that switch on top just like that to control both of them at once. Go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.